Hi everyone. Welcome to amazing channel of Brilliant Katha. When you are rubbing one body with another body, electrons are transferred from two, from one object to what? Another object. Okay, this process, this type of electricity is been given a name. Halogen connected carbon SP3, then it's connected to benzene. See all of you, halogen connected. What is this carbon hybridization? Full single bond SP3, see then a benzene ring. Denominator poles shouldn't be included in the, the denominator poles. That means the denominator, these minus 1 and minus 5 should never be included, should never be included in the solution. Homo circle caudal fin. It's giving two equal lobes. But in case of cartilage, we just look at here, one big lobe is there, one small lobe is there. You cannot cut into two equal half this fin. Hi dear students, welcome to the live DPP discussion. Last classes we were discussing about this chapter structure of atom we started in the last class. So this is the two module we are discussing now. Module number two structure of atom last class that uh, question which we discussed that is from the structure of atom chapter. Now we are going for the classification of element chapter as per our upcoming NEET examination. The structure of atom chapter and classification of element chapter. Yes, we can expect around three to four questions altogether. Don't forget to study each concept thoroughly so let us discuss what are the 2023 need question they were asked from the chapter classification of elements see they all the element expected to form largest ion the element expected to form largest ion largest ion achieve the nearest noble gas configuration see the element is given oxygen oxygen you know how many electrons are there outermost six electron how it can attain the noble gas configuration by gaining two more electrons right so oxygen ready to gain two electron then it will get noble gas configuration what about fluorine it need one electrons to complete their octet and what about nitrogen it need three more electrons to complete their octet and what about sodium that need to lose one electron that is what sodium plus one see they are all very careful a simple question they are asking you which one having largest size which ion is larger in size what is that you know anion these all are anion this is cation you know anions having greater size than cation and greater the charge on anion greater the size so which one having greater the charge greater charge is for n3 minus yes nitrogen is the one which attain noble gas configuration and is bigger in size so greater the charge on anion greater the size this is the 2023 neat question they were asked question number two for the second period elements you know these are the second period elements you know lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon yes dear this is the second period elements in this second period elements you know they were asking about which factor first ionization enthalpy you know ionization enthalpy is the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell yes correct or not so here dear very careful the system is you know the some exceptional cases we studied there normally across a period ionization enthalpy increases across a period ionization enthalpy increases so we are expecting the same order but no you know neon having the greatest one no doubt because neon is a noble gas very harder to remove electron then we can say fluorine yes fluorine is most electronegative element from an electronegative element removal of electron is harder 
but next one is not oxygen you know nitrogen and oxygen be careful nitrogen is half filled stabilized you know stable compound very harder to remove electron so nitrogen and oxygen we have to switch near all after that carbon even beryllium and boron case also we have to shuffle because beryllium is fully filled beryllium is fully filled one so extra stable so beryllium come first then boron so careful neon fluorine nitrogen then oxygen then carbon beryllium boron lithium where is that given that's option b neon fluorine nitrogen oxygen why we are switching nitrogen oxygen nitrogen is half filled stable and then carbon beryllium and boron why we are switching beryllium is fully filled stable yes so yes answer is which one Nisha? b is the answer kavi magasi right option b is the correct answer next one magnesium react with an element x magnesium you know the charge is what magnesium charge is 2 plus it is reacting with an element x it form an anionic compound it's an anion negative charge if the ground state electronic configuration of x is given 1s2 2s2 2p3 1s2 2s2 2p3 so 1s2 2s2 2p3 means you know it is a p block element p block elements are electron negative element so they need three more electrons to complete their octet right so three minus is the charge x charge is what three minus so what is the formula of the uh, complex that is mg thrice x2 mg thrice x2 yes option d is the correct answer already you got it right mastery yes isham yes kavi so there is a what is a valency that only we have to understand from this question okay magnesium valency already you know 2 plus and x valency is 3 minus because it need 3 more electrons to complete their octet next the species argon potassium k plus ea2 plus contain the same number of electron in which order do their radii belongs we studied that anions are bigger than neutral atom then we have cations right anion then neutral then cation it is very clear from this one argon is the neutral one yes so argon is bigger in size remaining both are cation and in cation greater the charge smaller the size in cation greater the charge smaller the size so we can say k plus and least size is which one ca2 plus where is that option ca2 plus k plus ar that is again option d is the correct answer careful about the size it's a repeated question for a neat exam anions are bigger than neutral than cation okay careful option d is the answer now, which of the following element will have highest second ionization enthalpy? If you remove already one electron, if you want to remove one electron from the outermost shell, the energy is called first ionization enthalpy. From that system, if you want to remove one more electron, that energy is called second ionization enthalpy. Where second ionization enthalpy is harder? Can you say the answer? Very good. Option B. They're all in option B. Option B, it's already stable, right? It's already stable one. After first ionization enthalpy, second ionization enthalpy will be less. But this one, after, you know, 3s1 means they are ready to lose that one electron. So, IE1 will be very less. After IE1, this 3s gone, it will be 2p6. From that, removal of one electron is harder because it is noble gas configuration. So, option B is the answer yes or no so option b after removing one electron that's attaining stable configuration so removal of one electron is harder from 2p6 because it is noble gas configuration right so option b is the one with the highest second ionization enthalpy yes yes good evening good evening okay next one as we move from left to right that means left to right mean across a period okay dear if you are moving from left to right mean across a period the electronegativity increases yes or no left to right electronegativity increases or non metallic character increases an, uh, an atom which is highly electronegative has what is the answer 
the one with the high electronegativity what do you mean by high electronegativity they are they are ready they are more ready to accept electron the one which is more ready to accept electron they are not ready to lose electron so if you want to give more energy so if you want to lose one electron you have to give more energy so the one with the more electronegativity very harder to remove electron very harder to remove electron very harder to remove electron mean high ionization enthalpy yes see right yes see is the answer high ionization enthalpy next one when we go from left to right again period when we go from left to right tell me dear what is the answer for this question when we go from left to right in a period the basic nature tell me left to right you know non metallic character you know non metallic character increases so no left to right non metallic character increases we know non metallic oxides are acidic in nature non metallic oxides are acidic in nature therefore acidity increases across a period non metallic character increases non metallic character increases mean acidity increases that mean we can say almost basicity decreases yes so there is a basic nature of the oxide increases no the basic ox nature of the oxide decreases why it is so a left to right across a period non metallic character increases non metallic character increases mean their acidity increases or like that we can say basicity decreases option b is the answer then few general names are given along with their valence shell configuration mark the incorrect name can you say the answer all can you say the answer some general electronic configurations are given here which one is wrong which one is wrong what is that answer what is that answer what is that answer dear all ns2 np6 mean they have noble gas configuration they are fully filled ns2 np5 say they need just one electron yes that is our halogen ns1 yes that is our first group alkali metal option d yes option d is incorrect what is chalcogen what are chalcogen chalcogens are our oxygen family you know oxygen atomic number 8 1s2 2s2 2p4 that is like ns2 np4 is the general electronic configuration of chalcogen family not ns2 np2 ns2 np2 is the carbon family okay carbon family so chalcogen means oxygen family their configuration is ns2 np4 yes that's a correct answer option d now an element has the electronic configuration they are all 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 you know that after 3p6 the orbital is 4s2 then only it comes to 3d8 so the outermost electron is 3d8 so where the last electron enter d orbital therefore it is a d block element therefore it is a d block element you know how to calculate the period of an element how we can calculate the period of an element the largest principal quantum number which is the largest principal quantum number 1 2 2 3 3 3 4 yes they are all 4 4 is the highest principal quantum number so it belongs to fourth period fourth period then what is about the group we studied in class how we find the group number of d block element d block element how many electrons are there outermost eight from that add two so 8 plus 2 10th 10th group so 10th group and fourth period option a once again the largest principal quantum number is the period and how we find the group of a d block element how many electrons are in the outermost d orbital around 8 electron to which add 2 add 2 8 plus 2 10th group is the answer i think already you got the answer right yes option a is the correct answer yes hope it's clear all of you let's go for the next uh, biology session i think sir is waiting shall we start yes thank you
हेलो गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू हियर माय वॉइस शेल वी स्टार्ट टुडे एग्जाम पेपर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू प्रैक्टिसिंग एट होम प्रॉपरली एनिमल किंगडम चैप्टर आई टोल्ड यू मेनी टाइम्स इन द क्लास एनिमल किंगडम चैप्टर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली एग्जाम्पल्स एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड हाई वेटेज चैप्टर थ्री टू फोर क्वेश्चन कम आई सेड राइट सो आई होप टूडे इज एग्जाम एवरी वन अटेंड वेरी वेल एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर क्रॉस चेक विद द की ऑल्सो सो इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू गॉट टेन आउट ऑफ टेन करेक्ट आंसर यू जस्ट मैसेज मी आई विल बी वेरी वेरी हैप्पी सो आई वॉन्ट डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आई यू रेडी स्टूडेंट्स आई यू रेडी आई यू देर गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू गुड इवनिंग लुक एट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Look at the first question. The question tells us organ system level of organization is not found in organ system level of organization not found in. If you able to recall all the invertebrate phylums, what we discuss in class: Porifera cellular level, Tinophora cylindrate tissue level, Platyelminthes organ level. From our scale, means this to the everyone the till card data organ system level of organization, right? So Anelida organ system level of organization, Arthropoda yes organ system level of organization. Ah, Mollusca also platyel means this what organ system level of organization, not organ. So this organ level of organization. It is not organ system level of organization. If you able to recall in the flames in the in the platyel means this flame cells also we discuss the same point the same place. I clearly mention platyel means this shows organ level of organization, not organ system level of organization. So which of the following is not showing? So answer is platyel means this. So flame cells function. Ah, any one of you tell me flame cells for what purpose? Flame cells are the specialized cells in platyelminthes for excretion and I said what osmoregulation. So that is seen in where platyelminthes in mollusca and in arthropoda and annelida. Tell me in arthropoda annelida segmented body dorsal heart we discuss in annelida is closed type of circulation in arthropoda is what open type of circulation I said and in case of this mollusca if you able to recall tinidia I said what are tinidia tinidians. are gills of what they call mollusca gills are performing two function one is called respiration and second one is called what tell me excretion mental mental cavity feather like gills are present i said remember so remember all of you mollusca organ system level of organization but platyel means this only organ level of organization don't get confused look at here this question tell us Yes, yes, good, very good. Look at here in this question. Select the total number of organisms from the following, which are sessile. That means they are attached. They are made. They are completely in one place. They are attached with substrum to substrum. I'm sorry, to substrum. They are attached, so they are not freely mobile. They are sessile. Find out. Amoeba. Amoeba has a pseudopodia. It will move from here and there, here and there. Right? Yes or no? You you got my point. In the protista also we discussed this one. Protista last protozoan. Amoeba. Pseudopodia. Euglena. Flagella is there. Adamsia. Adamsia is called what? Sea anemone. Sea anemone is what? Sessile. Spongella. Spongella is freshwater spongy. Porifera. Sessile. Next Hydra. Hydra also what? Tell me. Cylindrate. Sessile. Next what they call? Jellyfish. Mobile. Jellyfish. Have a tentacles. Ah, huh? look at my point. You got my point. They will be moved from here and there. So, how many are uh, sessile? One. Two and three. What is your answer? What is your answer? Yes, very good. So correct answer is what? Three. Number three option C is the right answer. They are asking sessile. And moreover, look at it. Ah, here amoeba and euglena. Euglena. These two are protistan, unicellular, eukaryote. Ah, spongella is what? Cylindrata, gastrovascular cavity, tissue level of organization, and metagenesis, alternation of generation in the, in this phylum, right? Next, hydra also cylindrate and jellyfish. Also, cylindrate jellyfish is what Aralia. Jellyfish is what Aralia. Remember. Next question. Next question. Which of the following is incorrect about the Porifera? First phylum we discuss Parasova. Parasova is nothing but what Porifera. Sponges. Cellular level of organization. They are asking incorrect statement about the Porifera. They show external fertilization. Are they showing external fertilization? Are they showing external fertilization? Remember, I told you in the class. One more time, I am repeating. First, tell me Porifera. Next, next Cylindrata. Is it no? Next Cylindrata. Next Tinophora. Next Platyhelminthes. Next, beta Askelminthes. Next Annelida. 
ఆర్థోపుడా ఎసనో ఆర్థోపుడా ములస్కా ఇకైనో డెర్మిటా హెమికార్డేటా రిమెంబర్ ఇన్ పోరిఫెరా ఇంటర్నల్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఇంటర్నల్ దిస్ టు ఎక్స్టర్నల్ external from here to again arthropoda mollusca ik arthropoda exactly from platyel men this to what beta mollusca again internal internal fertilization echinodermata hemichordata what i said external fertilization remember this is the most most important and in case of fishes if you come cartless fishes are internal fertilization bony fishes are external fertilization okay amphibia reptilia apes mammals all are internal fertilization only so it is a incorrect statement incorrect statement majority of live in sea and they live in fresh water fresh water is i said what spongella spongella is the example of fresh fresh water spongy most of them are asymmetric yes all of the above is given answer is what option a they are not external fertilization they are internal fertilization right kavya good very good better good very good now what about this question what about this question the characteristic possessed by all sponges all sponges what are the characteristic features are possessing by all sponges number one they all are fresh water no they all are marine water except other uh, few are fresh water spongilla Yes or no? This is not a characteristic feature of all sponges. Leave it. All possess tissue level of organization. My God, I told you, porifera shows or porifera exhibit level. What level? Cellular level of organization, not tissue level of organization. So, leave it this one. Leave it. Can all system help in the locomotion? Can all system helps in locomotion? I told you, can all system helps in three major things. Nutrition. So now students, one is called excretion. Second, third one is called respiration. Respiration. So locomotion. No, they are sessile, right? They are sessile. They are attached to the substrum, right? So it is not a character. So all are hermaphrodite. That means bisexual. It is also known as a monoecious. So answer is option D. How many of you given? How many of you given? Right, right. So the correct answer is what? Option D. Poriferans are sexes not separated in this one. Internal fertilization takes place. Indirect development. Larva is there. I said. got my point what is the examples i told you do you remember examples i told s s e i said do you remember what is s s e sicon spongilla u spongia u spongia is what bath spongy spongilla what fresh water spongy right next question next question look at here this question this question is a characteristic feature of porifera given and how many characteristic features are appropriate and correct to the porifera they are asking number 1 select the total statements belongs to sponges sponges are parazoa yes or no that mean porifera point number 1 cellular level of organization correct body is supported by endoskeleton made up of spicules or spongin fiber if you able to recall my class spongin fibers are made up of calcium carbonate or silica acid surround around the osculum the anterior largest opening the mini calcareous spicules or calcium carbonate or silica spicules are there these are also giving the mechanical support and opening and closing of osculum i said right so this statement also correct larva stage is morphologically different from it yes it's also correct pathway of water transport help in the gathering of food that mean nutrition respiration exchanging and waste, waste metal removal yes this is also correct statement Ma um, uh, hermaphrodite organism correct they show power of regeneration ncrt not mention this point ncrt mention asexual reproduction of poriferans are fragmentation sexual reproduction is gamete formation is given but remember in porifera regeneration also present so all statements are correct so answer is b six statements correct answer is b keep in mind answer is b yes very good very good who is this sai good beta good magashree correct very good next question next question very 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 easy question sicon tell me what is the correct answer of this question sicon i can call what skypha so no so uh, here it is sicon next spongilla fresh water you spongia bath sponge so 2 3 1 where is 2 3 1 2 3 1 option a i hope you are following me correct correct right simple ah that, yes yes that is also correct that also correct next question look at here select the following total number of organism which total number of organisms which uh, contain word c word c there are they are mentioning what tell me word c in their common names phycelia phycelia is portuguese man of war 
फाइव टाइम्स बी रिपीटेड इन क्लास डू रिमेंबर फाइव टाइम्स आई सेट टू रिपीट आफ्टर मी फाइव सी लिया इज पोर्चुगीज मैन ऑफ वॉर फाइव सी लिया पोर्चुगीज मैन ऑफ वॉर इट इज बिलोंग्स टू सिलन ट्रेट आई सेट फाइव सी लिया पोर्चुगीज मैन ऑफ वॉर एडम सिया सी अनिमोन इन ट्वेल्थ ग्रेड वी डिस्कस इन ऑर्गेनिज्म इन पॉपुलेशन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म इन पॉपुलेशन पॉपुलेशन इंटरेक्शन एडम सिया एंड क्लाउन एडम सिया सी अनिमोन्स एंड क्लाउन फिश इज कमेंसलिज्म प्लस जीरो डू रिमेंबर दिस वन एडम सिया नथिंग बट सी अनिमोन now here it is c is there here it is c is there pennatula c pen c is there gorgonia c fan yes or no this is c fan here also c is there next mandrina brain coral arelia jellyfish so tell me how many have the three c c c come on come on come on answer me ah c is what 1 2 3 so answer is option b i am i correct I may create three places. C C is there. C C. Adam C A C animal. Penna tula C pen. Gorgonia C fan. Got my point. Next, this all are cylindrates. Now look at here. Five cilia. Here it is coming. Better. Look at the five cilia. Five cilia is called Portuguese man of war. Adam C A. I am writing C animal. Penna tula C pen. Gorgonia C fan. Sorry, penna tula C pen. Right? Penna tula C pen. Gorgonia C fan. Mandrina, brain coral. What my point? Arelia, jellyfish. Right? Let me write here. Phycelia, five. Adamsia, C animal, four. Pennatula, C pen, two. Gorgonia, C fan. Uh, Pennatula, C pen, three. Right? It is three. Gorgonia, C fan, two. Mandrina, brain coral, one and six. Five, four, three, two. One six five four three two one six. Where is it? Three two one six. Option B, right? Option B, be correct. Ah, good. Five four three two one six. Option B is the right answer. All are cylindrate tissue level of organization. Metagenesis a unique characteristic feature. Diploblastic and also what tell me radial symmetry. Remember radial symmetry. Next question. The following features belongs to the which phylum? Following features belongs to which phylum? They given right. Look at here. Number one. Exclusively marine, radial symmetry, diploblastic tissue level of organization. Very, very, very easy. I told you, my dear, in class there are two phylums, a sister phylums. I said, what are they? Cilentrata and also Tenophorans are sister phylums. Both are showing common affinities. But Tenophorans are called comb jellies and sea walnuts. Tenophorans are show eight comb plates are there, which are essential for the locomotion, which are helping the locomotion. I said. And the same place, I also I also mentioned one thing. Tenophorans are exclusively marine. Tenophorans are only show sexual reproduction. But in case of cilentrata, they are mostly marine. There are freshwater also hydrized freshwater. They don't have comb plates. You got my point. You understand my point. I mean, they show sexual and sexual reproduction. Both polyp and medusa we discuss. But in case of Tenophora, only sexual reproduction is there. So answer the correct uh, answer. Better answer this question. Cilentrata, no, they are not exclusive. But cellular level, uh, radial uh, uh, tissue level of organization, diploblastic radial symmetry. Tenophora. Answer is what option C. Option C. Good. Very good. Magastri, Kavya, Sai. Very good. Better. Very good. Correct. Correct. Next question. Next question. Ascaris. Ascaris. Is a uh, askelmenthes. Tell me, asker is askelmenthes. I can write what it is. Intestinal worm, right? Which area? Filarial worm. Encyclostoma, hook worm. Peritema, earth worm. Peritema, anelida. Encyclostoma, which area? Asker is this or or nematoda or askelmenthes. Askelmenthes. Pseudo silome. Organ system level of organization. Well developed muscular pharynx. Tube within tube type of arrangement. Sexes are separated. Sexual dimorphism. Male is shorter than female. And internal fertilization. I said. You do you remember this one? Remember all of you. Next year, anelida. Peritema postuma. Do you remember? But in today's class, I said anelida. Whenever anelida phylum come, three major examples should run in your uh, brain. Number one, peritema. That means earthworm, detritivore. Number two, leech, ectoparasite, hirudinaria. Number three, nearest aquatic uh, anelida. Leech and also earthworm bisexual. Nearest is unisexual. I said. 
Do you remember? So answer is what tell me? 1, 2, 3, 4. How simple it is? 1, 2, 3, 4. Option B is the right answer. You got my point? Yes. Yes. So these are the simple 10 questions only in today's exam I given. But tomorrow's exam is going to give you a nightmares beta. So all of you thoroughly prepare the statement based question. Tomorrow paper is little difficult. And tomorrow evening also, tomorrow night also in live, I will discuss the paper. So all the very best. So whoever get the 10 out of 10, very, very happy. Tomorrow I will ask you the result of today's exam okay and here Ali Fazal sir is waiting for physics so I'm inviting Ali Fazal sir Chalo, come. thank you thank you so much for attending biology session thank you Hello dear students, welcome back to again the live session for the yesterday's crash course. Today I attended the DPP. Let's go through the questions with detailed solution for each question. Okay, once again, welcome back to this session. Yeah, all are there, Sai is there, Kavi, Magastri. Yeah, let's go through the questions. Vectors is the topic we are going to discuss, one of the important area of this physics chapter. If a vector 2i plus 3j plus 8k is perpendicular to the vector for 2i minus 4j plus alpha k then the value of alpha is alpha value you have to find out so here to this vector these both are perpendicular you know if two vectors are perpendicular we know that a dot b will be equal to zero because we have a dot b is equal to a b cos theta cos 90 theta is equal to 90 degree then cos 90 is 0 a dot b b 0 so just equate them so we will get a dot b you know a 1 b 1 plus a 2 b 2 plus a 3 b 3 it is a way of calculating a dot b so multiply the corresponding terms you have 2 into 2 that is 4 3 into minus 4 that is minus 12 plus 8 into alpha that is 8 alpha that is equal to 0 we can say so 4 minus 12 that is negative 8 plus 8 alpha equal to 0 or 8 alpha is equal to 8 or alpha is equal to 1 so when two vectors are perpendicular you have to do a dot b if two vectors are parallel then a cross b will be 0 the magnitude will be 0 so here option d is the correct answer okay Got it, Gavi? Sai Arida, Magistri? Yes. So, answer alpha is equal to 1 is the correct answer. Yes, good. So, we will do the next question. The vectors A and B are such that modulus of A plus B is equal to modulus of A minus B. The angle between the two vectors is. So, two vectors modulus of A plus B is equal to modulus of A minus B. You know, resultant of two vectors a and b we can write r is equal to root of a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta to find a plus b is resultant similarly a minus b if there you can write it is resultant will be root of a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos theta is given there both magnitudes are equal so if you equate both sides and square each other you will get a square plus b square 
plus 2ab cos theta will be equal to the second one a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta equal both sides so the same terms you can cancel a square this a square cancels b square b square cancels remaining if we take the minus 2ab to this side it will become 2ab plus 2ab that is 4ab cos theta will be equal to 0 for a b cos theta equal to 0 means what nothing but cos theta is equal to 0 or theta is equal to 90 degree is it so magnitude of two vectors the result and r and the direction equation you know so r is equal to root of a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta if a plus b is there and a minus b you will get root of a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos theta equate both theta is equal to 90 degree so option a is the correct answer yes yeah good correct answer good so next question let's do a particle starting from the origin 0 comma 0 moves in a straight line in the xy plane its coordinates at a later times are root 3 comma 3 the path of the particle make with the x-axis a angle of so it's actually vector resolution concept we have to do so we can draw a coordinate system we have x-axis here and y-axis there the object start from 0 comma 0 after later time it's the position became root 3 comma 3 so root 3 along x-axis and 3 along y-axis for example let it be like this then this is the position this position is root 3 comma 3 for example then along x-axis we have root 3 component and along y-axis we have 3 components the question is what is the angle between this play the path of the particle makes the angle with the x-axis so let it be theta then from this equation this graph theta is there root 3 along x-axis 3 along y-axis so what will be tan theta here tan theta will be equal to 3 by root 3 that's equal to root 3 so theta will be tan inverse root 3 that's nothing but 60 degree so answer is 60 degree option d is the correct answer yes sai kavi got it great great Clear? So it's a vector resolution concept only. Resolve the vector to two parts x component and y component, then the value is there. Okay? Let's do other question. Vector a and vector b are two vectors, and theta is the angle between them. If modulus of a cross b is equal to root 3 times modulus of a dot b, the value of theta is very simple, direct question. So it'll be here. Modulus of a cross b, we know that is a b magnitude of a and b into sin theta and modulus of a dot b actually a dot b have only scalar value is equal to a b cos theta now what is given modulus is equal to root 3 times a dot b so we can write it as a b sin theta is equal to root 3 times a dot b is a b cos theta the similar terms you can cancel a i b a into b cancels so it will be sin theta cos theta i am taking this side by cos theta is equal to root 3 or again tan theta is equal to root 3 or theta is equal to tan inverse of root 3 that is equal to 60 degree the angle is 60 degree option b is the correct answer okay great okay fine so here uh, cross product and dot product you know cross product gives a vector result dot product gives you a scalar result then their magnitudes are this way related root 3 times the other one so equate both theta got tan theta is equal to root 3 or theta is equal to 60 degree we're getting okay hope you got it let's go for the next question a body under the action of a force f 6 i plus 8 minus 8 j plus 10 k acquired an acceleration of 1 meter per second square the mass of this body must be mass you have to find out force and acceleration is given we know from newton's second law of motion f is equal to ma where f is a vector a is a vector so mass m is equal to vector f by a vector f by a that's all so a is actually one meter per second is the value is given and force is that one if you divide it you'll get 
mass will be the magnitude of this is a vector so no so m is a scalar unit the magnitude you have to find out so magnitude of 6 i minus 8 j plus 10 k that will be root of 6 square plus 8 square plus 10 square that is 6 square is 36 plus 64 100 plus 100 that is root of 200 that is <coughs> 10 root 2 that much kilogram 10 root 2 kilogram will be the mass the magnitude so option a is the correct answer 10 root 2 is it yes Kavi. got it okay so force and mass is uh, acceleration given just divide it then magnitude you have to find out for the mass is that clear hope you got it yes six vectors a through f a b c d e f is given the magnitudes and directions indicated in the figure which of the following statement is true so b plus e is equal to f b plus c f d plus c f d plus e is equal to f is given so triangular law of vector addition you know two vectors are kept as in order as the sides of a triangle then third side in the reverse order give you the resultant so here check the all the options b plus e is equal to f so this is b here first option b and e so the tail of the second vector is kept on head of the first vector b plus e is there so this is e actually then b plus e will have a direction this one that is not f f of this direction so a is not the answer now b plus c is equal to f b is this one c is this one take tail head vector then this is f resultant so is also not there f is this, the opposite way then d plus c is equal to f d this is d c this is c then the resultant should be here this should be the resultant but that is not f so it's also not there then option is what d plus e is equal to f is the correct answer check this is d vector d then e this is e so vector e is along this direction then vector f you get along this direction d to f will be so that is f correctly f and f same so d plus e is equal to f is the correct answer so try another method only the rule you should know tail of the second vector should be kept on head of the first vector okay then resultant will be from tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector should be the resultant of the third one okay is correct yeah great magistry and cabin next question a particle has initial velocity 3i plus 4j and has acceleration 0.4i plus 0.3j its speed after 10 second is so initial velocity is given acceleration given time given speed you have to find out we know the equations and the kinematic equations v is equal to u plus at v is equal to u plus at we know so u is what 3i plus 4j plus a is what 0.4i plus 0.3j into what is time 10 seconds so we get 10 into 0.4 that is 4i 4i plus 3i that is 7i 10 into 0.3 that is 3j 3 plus 4 that is 7 so 7i plus 7j is what v then speed is asking so final velocity is the vector quantity you have to find the magnitude so speed will be equal to the magnitude of vector v that is root of 7 square plus 7 square that is root of 2 into 7 square that is 7 root 2 that much units so the answer is 7 root 2 units c is the correct answer okay yeah great got it so magnitude to find out for the resultant clear let's go for the next question a uniform force of 3i plus j newton acts on a particle of mass 2 kilogram hence the particle is displaced from position 2i plus k meter to position 4i plus 3j minus k meter the work done by the force on the particle is work done you know w is equal to vector f dot s we have force dot displacement we have 
so initial position is given final position also given you have to find the displacement so force here f is given 3i plus j dot then displacement the final minus initial is there so final is 4i plus 3j minus k and initial is 2i plus k so corresponding subtraction 4i minus 2i that is 2i 3j minus here there is no j component that is 0 3j minus 0 that is 3j itself 3j minus k minus k subtraction so that is negative 2k is it so displacement also dot product take it it will become 3 into 2 that is 6 plus 1 into 3 that is 3 then 0 into k 2 that's 0 6 plus 3 that's 9 joule so work that is 9 joule dot product a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 corresponding coefficients you have to multiply and add that's all no ijk in the result only scalar quantity so 9 joule is answer option d is the correct answer okay yes great great very good got it okay next question the velocity of a projectile at the initial point a is 2i plus 3j meter per second its velocity in meter per second at point b is so at point a it's a projectile machine you know initial is starting 2i plus 3j and at point b c is again hit the ground downward it is then what will be the velocity there if you get the co concept of the projectile motion you can see that a projectile motion the body have only acceleration along y axis there is no acceleration along x axis that means the x component of the velocity will remain same throughout the motion acceleration x component is zero you might go on through there a x is equal to zero and a y is equal to negative g we used to do is it as acceleration along x component is zero the x component of the velocity always remains same so here we have the velocity 2i plus 3j this 2i will remain same throughout the motion no change in 2i so d cannot be the answer a cannot be the answer because minus 2i minus 2i came no now acceleration is along y axis and that is along negative direction will come in down so the y component of the velocity will just inverse so here we have positive 3j will become negative 3j so option b is the correct answer it's a theoretical question okay yeah great correct answer max 3 and kavi clear that one so only x command is zero acceleration y command is not that is called a projectile what is it is most only under the effect of gravitational force okay that's case then next question a particle moves from a point minus 2i plus 5j to 4j plus 3k when a force of 4i plus 3j newton is applied how much work has been done by the force again work question only you know work w is equal to f dot s is there so here f f is given this much for i plus 3j dot s the displacement final position minus initial position is there so take care here minus 2i plus 5j is there to 4j plus 3k so if you subtract that one it will be like it is final is 0i plus 4j plus 3k minus of here will be minus 2i plus 5j plus 0k if you subtract this one 0 minus minus that is 2i 4 minus 5 that is minus j 3 minus 0 that is 3 3k so this is our displacement s so it will be 2i minus j plus 3k is equal to 4 into 2 that is 8 3 into minus 1 that is minus 3 k common is 0 0 into 3 that's no, that is 5 joule is a correct answer 5 joule option c is the correct answer here is it yeah great mercy okay so work done the concept again here okay this is the last question hop vector product and basic concept of the vectors you got it please thorough prepare on this one a sure question on this neat exam also from this vector concept you can expect okay thank you for watching see you on the next discussion stay tuned